Hello, I am your spiritual transformational and life purpose life coach, Latricia Booker, here with Kingdom Business. Where we are empowered, where we heal, we get delivered, and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits, and we raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power, and that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, we are, we are, we are. We are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. And we are curse breakers. Kingdom people, we most definitely are transformers. More than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people. We are, we are, we are. Thank you so much, kingdom people, for viewing my videos. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, shares. Thank you so much for all the financial contributions to my channels and the seeds that you sow into me and my ministry. Kinda people, I really do appreciate you all so very much and that is from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all of your kind words as well and your comments and just encouraging me and let me know that what I do here is helpful for you all. I really, you know, kinda people, for real. You all are such a blessing to me. I know y'all tell me that I'm a blessing to y'all, but you are all such a blessing to me. Thank you so much, Kingdom people. Thank you so much. And thank you for those of you who are um, who have submitted your inspirational stories and testimonies for the upcoming podcast show. Also, for all of you who have sent in subjects and topics to be discussed on the radio talk show coming up, as well thank you so much kingdom people i really do appreciate you all like for real okay yeah so kingdom people many of you <laughs> already know what i'm here to do but if you don't know now you know i am here to drop this beat this word this message <laughs> uh, yeah kingdom people yeah and so, can the people, today I'm going to talk to you all about how you are not responsible for people's feelings. Kingdom people, you're not. You are not responsible for people's feelings. You know whose who's feelings you are responsible for? Your own. And listen, that doesn't mean go around doing cruel, rude, and mean stuff just because you're not responsible for other people's feelings because the truth is if you're doing those kind of things on purpose just being cruel and trying to hurt someone's feelings although you're not responsible for their feelings you still get the consequences for trying to do those kind of things to people now what I'm specifically speaking of is how you know, y'all already know, them ones, they have the tendency to do certain things to you, to be on all the crazy they be on with you. And of course, kingdom people, we kind of don't tolerate that. And if you do, don't. Stop. Not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just kind of advising you. <laughs> but you already know. If you're still going, you probably complaining about these people, which means you shouldn't be going with them. You shouldn't even be entertaining them. How be ever? The thing is this. These, those ones would do all manner of madness to you and then act like you hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. Now, many a times what they say, they're saying you hurt their feelings because nine times out of ten, you have you can't deal with them. You have to move around, around them for good reason. You know, because they just a problem. Toxic, I'm hearing. I'm hearing something else, but I'm not going to say that. I know it's not a cuss word. <laughs> Start with a C, though. <laughs> End with an N. <laughs> Second letter is an L. <laughs> they I, they actually work in the circus. <laughs> Listen, Kingdom people. When you can't 
deal with them or when you stop dealing with them or when you just can't because they are those kind of people that mm -mm, that you don't want in your life that are no good for you they sometimes will act like you feel like you hurt their feelings and again i'm thinking of you know sometimes when people do inappropriate things to you and you may have to do something certain things about it because that's your right or to protect yourself or whatever whatever the case may be what i'm saying is your response to what they're doing trying to do with you that's highly inappropriate your response in a way where it's to protect you and it's not it's, it, it signifies that you don't want to have anything to do with them in their mind you hurt their feelings they will try to turn it around and say you hurt their feelings and their feelings might be hurt king of people but the thing is first of all you're not responsible for their feelings secondly you're definitely not responsible for their feelings when they cause their own hurt feelings if someone is doing something inappropriate to you them ones i'm not even ready to go into all that king of people i just can't y'all already know them ones that be on cool 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 crazy will play the victim and say you hurt their feelings because they're not able to do with you what they want to do with you now again their feelings may be hurt but their feelings are hurt only because they're not getting what they want kind of like a two-year-old or a kid who's not getting their way and they throw a tantrum and their feelings may be hurt when they don't get what they want but that's the consequences of whatever it is that they're not getting and or what they did to not get it even if it's something if it even if it's not something they did but that's in a different kind of case when we're talking about children or even us as an adult sometimes you may want certain things and god don't give it to you yet if it's in his will but there's a reason for that but sometimes people feelings are hurt that's a little different than what i'm talking about i just want to point that out because that that can happen as well but in this case these are people who have just been completely out of line with you and because i'm hearing that you stand up for yourself or you do whatever is necessary to deal with the problem to the extent that you can without dealing with them without dealing with them or maybe you had to personally address them the point is when you're not playing into their games and their tactics and allowing them to do what they're wanting to do with you such as control you dominate you use you all those things king of people all those things and i'm even hearing tear you down because there's people out here that be trying to tear you down and that's a whole nother subject but i'm gonna hit on it a little bit because it does kind of apply where sometimes people be trying to tear you down they be trying to hurt your feelings i say it like that you know and because when you're at a place where you are mastering yourself and or math you have mastered yourself no one can tear you down or hurt your feelings because you know you're responsible for your own feelings and you know you standing up for someone i mean standing up for yourself is not your place to be responsible for someone else's feelings like in this case so what am i saying that it's nothing that they can do when you've mastered yourself when you're mastering yourself and i'm reminded i have this scripture here that pertains to that and that is proverbs 29 and 11 is one of them actually and it says a fool always loses his temper but a wise man holds it back and so what is that a control spirit and it and a control spirit means self-control where you control yourself a person with a control spirit where they have self-control has mastered themselves and nine times out of ten they're unbreakable because they've mastered themselves so what am i saying in the event where there are those ones them ones doing things to try to 
maybe get you to react, hurt your feelings, whatever they're trying to do because you have mastered yourself and you have a you control your spirit and you're slow to anger. You're not quick to be all in your feelings. You see, you're not all in your emotions and in your feelings reactive to things that are happening to you or around you, should I say. So, that goes hand in hand with what I'm saying. When you have mastered yourself or when you are mastering yourself, you're not vulnerable to those kind of attempts. Now, I'm saying all that to say that many a times people, because they're not successful in their attempts to break down, get reactions from, and hurt the feelings of someone who has mastered themselves and don't operate on that level they don't operate from their emotions not because they lack feelings but they lack they they don't operate from negative emotions and they're not reactive so what am i saying when you're not reactive when you have a control spirit when you're when you're you're slow to lose you don't lose your temper but you hold back because you have a self-control spirit when you're that way and them ones trying to get you in your feelings, trying to hold your, all that kind of stuff. Y'all know what I'm saying. They will turn around and say you hurt their feelings is what I'm saying. And you, their feelings again are probably hurt because they're not getting what they want. And what I'm literally hearing right now is they want you to feel how they feel. See, they trying to make you like them. They'll be all they be in their feelings and all mad and angry and bothered because of whatever. And most times when they're that way, it's not because someone is doing something to them inappropriate. It's because they're having a tantrum. Because they're emotionally defect. They're still these kind of people are still two years old emotionally. They're emotionally suppressed. Something happened where they did not mature in that way. So that's why they act out of their emotions. They everything is a tantrum and they want their way they haven't matured they're not grown ups they could be 50 years old but they're not grown ups just in age if they're acting and reacting out of the out of emotions all the time they haven't matured or grown up emotionally or done the emotional work and i'm saying all that to say those kind of people tend to try to hit you there because that's where they are but when you have mastered yourself or are mastering yourself, it doesn't work. They're trying to hurt your feelings, but what happens is their feelings are hurt. And their feelings are hurt because they can't hurt your feelings. They can't hurt your feelings. They can't do use you. They can't abuse you. They can't control you. All those things. And again, king of people, you are not responsible for their feelings. You are not responsible for how they feel about the consequences and the emotional response or the emotional consequences that they are having for what they were trying to do to you. You're not responsible for their feelings. And again, those ones that you actually communicate with, if you let your, if you allow them to communicate with you, <laughs> will try to tell you, you hurt their feelings by taking care of yourself. You know what I'm hearing, you know how that saying go, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. If taking care of myself is wrong, then I don't want to be right. You know, it's one of them kind of things. You're taking care of yourself. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your sanity. You're protecting your peace. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your spirit. You're protecting yourself from these dim ones that are completely toxic, immature, and just don't mean you no good. And when you protect yourself from them, they in their mind feel like you hurt their feelings. And some of them want to tell you just that, if they already have it. Some of you have already heard that. You've experienced it. But again, kingdom people, you're not responsible for these people's feelings. Listen, Galatians 6, 4 through 5 says, but let each one test his own work. And then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor 
for each will have to bear his own load. We have to carry our own load. Even if someone did something to us to hurt out to that was hurtful and it may have you may have felt a certain kind of way, it's still up to you to bear that load. Now, if you're in a relationship with this person and it's appropriate for you to do, you can communicate how what they did made you feel. And if they care and if your your um whatever your concern is is not unreasonable cuz some and I say that because sometimes people say you did this you did this and I feel you know I I feel it make me feel like this and it's unreasonable because sometimes people need to grow up and they need to mature and then the, they want to make the other person responsible for making them feel how they feel which is kind of what I'm saying however what I was actually saying is this kingdom people if you're in a relationship whether it be your romantic your marriage your child mother um platonic whatever business relationship you're supposed to be able to communicate how you feel or your concerns or you're supposed to be able to do that and if what you're you're expressing is legitimate the other person should honor that and adjust again where that's appropriate but not when someone is just acting like a child being immature they're very insecure and they want to have their way where it's highly inappropriate and they want you to change and or diminish yourself to make them feel better about their immaturity so to speak that's not up for you to do you are not responsible for their feelings and again if you know like I know, and I believe many of you do, that's why you came to people. There have been people that have done some inappropriate things to us. And we take it and we work it. We don't make them responsible for our feelings. We say, okay, okay. And we deal with it. We do the work. And we don't need them to make it right. We make it right within ourselves. And we mature, grow, and evolve from that. And that is why we're kingdom people, kingdom people. We take what's, what comes at us and we, we make it, we work it. We make it work for us. I'm hearing we turn lemons into sweet lemonade, kingdom people. It's not what's happening to us. It's what's happening for us. So we let that thing work for our good. We don't be like, oh, now I'm not saying that none of us have never been there. But again we mature and we grow and we evolve we don't stay there that's why we're kingdom people kingdom people we were responsible for our own feelings where we have been done wrong or being handled inappropriately mishandled so listen we ain't responsible for their feelings when they acting like all kind of clowns to us and they throwing a tantrum and got hurt feelings Cause we won't let them have their way with us which is not even good for us or them really but you know we can't get into that listen kingdom people proverbs 28 and 13 says whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy so this just speaks of them ones who want you to be responsible with the, for their feelings when they're highly inappropriate. They, we can, we honor and we acknowledge, should I say, our transgressions. Where we in error. We acknowledge it. We allow God to convict us, correct us, and we change where he says, hey, do this. We need you to just let that go. Do We go with that. These kind of people that want us to be responsible for their feelings where they're being in the, where they're being in the wrong <laughs> they don't do that and it says whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper so they can't even prosper being like that and you know they can't prosper if they trying to say make you like out to like you you you're responsible for their hurt feelings when they're the ones in the wrong and they know it but listen we do the opposite kingdom people we confess and we forsake our transgressions in other words 
we acknowledge them for what they are and we forsake them, we turn away from those ways that God is saying no and those ways that we know are not right. We may make mistakes. We may be in error, but we are willing to correct ourselves and do the right thing, go the right way. However, we would not allow people to manipulate us and make us think we wrong and we hurt their feelings because they was trying to do something crazy with us and we saying no. Mm -mm. Proverbs 16 and 32. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he who rules his spirit than he who captures a city. So in essence, kingdom people, this is just, you know, going with us being slow to anger because we're not big to be going off. And when these ones be doing all of what they do, that's part of why their feelings are hurt because we won't be get angry and react and go tick attack and battle and argue. Listen, again, when you're mastering yourself or you have mastered yourself, when you're evolving, growing, maturing, and I'm going to say in God and who he called you to be, well, you just don't do that. Even if you did at one time, I'm hearing when I was a child, I behaved as a child. When I became a grown man or a woman, I put away childish ways. We mature and grow. We don't keep acting like a child, but these ones, kingdom people, they do. They keep acting like a child. They be grown, they be grown up in age, but they still a child. They, yeah, they be kids in a grown up body. And still doing childish things. And that's how you know. And that's why you move around them. When you see that childish behavior, you you can't do that. They identify themselves for who they are. And what I'm saying about that is when you do that, in their mind, you hurt their feelings. And again, their feelings might be hurt. But maybe their feelings are hurt to teach them they need to grow up and they need to evolve. They need to mature and stop operating in those childish ways so king of people you are not responsible for their feelings okay okay i'm gonna let that rest right there if you like this video and or if it resonates with you please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up also click on that red subscribe button <laughs> And subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. Something like this one came to people. Also, if you are interested in any of the services that I offer, all the information is right down below in the description box. And if you would like a chat session with me, if you just want to talk and communicate with me you got some things on your mind that you just want to talk through you know you can schedule a uh, book a chat session with me you could we can do it by phone we can do it by i can record you a personal video um you can send me an email with what you want to what you want to talk about and i can do a video response to you or we could do a video um a video chat all that information is down below in the description box you know, um, if you are interested in any of my life coaching sessions, feel free to reach out for me to me about that. Um, I am able to take in on a couple, you know, some more clients. You just we just have to work the schedule out. I got a real interesting schedule right now these days, um, as I am in transition, especially. And so, yeah, all that information is down below. Check out my book, The Girl in the Mirror by Sheila Brooks. Sheila Brooks is my pen name. Um, it's, from, it's on Amazon, and that link is down below in the description box as well. I also have um, some more um, availability for if you would like a free copy of the ebook. If you would like that, just send me an email at kingdomtrisha at gmail.com, and I'll get that information out to you so you can download the ebook for free. Um, yeah, kingdom people, if you want to be a blessing to me, and so a seed, you can do that at cash.me slash dollar sign, capital L, capital B, O-O-K-E-R, number one. So that's cash.me slash dollar sign, L, Booker, number one. 
And you can do PayPal at paypal.me slash Latricia Booker. And I thank you all for you all who have sowed a seed. And um, yeah, been a blessing. Thank you all. I have been getting them. And I really do appreciate you all. Um, again, it's an honor to be here with you and to be a blessing to you. I'm so, I'm so grateful for that. I am highly grateful for that. So thank you, Kingdom People, for allowing me to serve you. Thank you. And so with that being said, we are, we are, we are, we are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers and we are. <laughs> Transformers more than meets the eye. I love you all. We are, we are, we are. And yeah, I love you all. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me, Kingdom People. And yeah, with that being said, much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all, Kingdom People. That is my time. So, Jesus girl, she is out. Peace. <laughs>